So May and I are in the grocery store, aren't we, May? Here we are gonna make uh, some enchiladas for a family member who just had a baby, take them over to her this evening. So we are here to shop and we're using our Milk Snob car seat, or I guess it's a car seat cover, a nursing cover, and it works well for the grocery cart to keep her hands off of any little grimy bits right here. So stay tuned, I'll probably take you guys through a little bit of our grocery shopping and then I'll show you the recipe. We are going to get a little sample of oranges to try for May. She has never had an orange. Wanna try it? Wanna try it? Yummy! Is that good? You hold on to it, okay? Yum! that I always get if I'm making somebody something um, if they are sick or had a baby or something is these disposable tins so that they don't have to worry about returning anything to me. I think that it just makes giving things much easier. May, did you pick out those diapers for your new relative? That was so nice of you. We have to be gentle with babies, not like that though. To make the enchilada sauce, you will need some canola oil, a jalapeno that has been uh, sliced and deseeded, uh, onion sliced up, some garlic. We're gonna saute those all together and then add the spices, which are gonna be cumin, chili powder, salt, and sugar. Now a nice thing about making it homemade is that it is actually gluten free which is wonderful. Um, and then you're also going to use tomato sauce and then a cup of water as well. Uh, and then you're going to blend all of those ingredients together. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then touch back with you guys. I'm not going to say specific um, amounts in this video because I will have the recipe linked down below and I follow the recipe exactly. So the chicken has been cooking in the enchilada sauce that we made for an hour. And now that it's cooked for an hour and it's cooked through and we've checked the temperature, which I did off of camera, you're going to take the chicken out of the enchilada sauce and shred it using two forks or a knife I probably will end up using just because it's a little bit easier. And then you're going to take some enchilada sauce and some cheese and actually wrap them in corn tortillas. Then you'll place those in your pan as I'll show you and you'll put the enchilada sauce over top um, and cheese and green onions. But before you place the enchilada sauce over, you actually spray it with some cooking spray and cook the enchiladas without any sauce or cheese or anything on top in your oven that has been preheated to 425 degrees for seven minutes or so and then you'll add everything else in and cook for about 30. Again, the recipe will be below. I don't have it memorized off the top of my head, although I have made this several, several times. So keep watching for that, guys. Mm -hmm. 